Hey team, it's Scott from Bartlow's Barbecue, and today we're smoking a tri-tip like a brisket. If you love the taste of brisket and you wish you had shorter time frames to cook it, you definitely want to stick around and watch this video as we fire up the Kamado Joe Jr. and take you inside, show you how we prepare this tri-tip like a traditional brisket. So let's get into it. All right, team, let's show you how we set up the Kamado Joe Jr. Today we're using Jealous Devil Charcoal, Lump Charcoal, their Chunks version. And then I use the Kick-Ash Basket um, Charcoal Basket, and I made sure I shook all that uh, extra ash out from a previous cook. Uh, and then we took out the ash can, dumped that ash out as well. We want to ensure that there's no ash buildup so that we don't have any blockage whenever it's getting to our desired temperature of 275 to 300 degrees. Right now it's running at 300 degrees. I'll be lowering it down just a little bit, um, but that's pretty much our plan of action. And then I dumped um, some about three to four small wood chunks, which is post oak, and that will be a traditional brisket style cook using post oak. Then we dumped that Jealous Devil charcoal on top of it and filled it up. And then we layered uh, the um, Woo rig back in there with the heat deflector. We have our drip pan uh, from Smokeware and then our grill grate. So now that we've got this up to temperature, I'm gonna show you how we prepared the tri-tip and get this thing smoking. Let's talk about this tri-tip. This is a two pound uh, tri-tip, that's a choice cut. You could use Prime or Wagyu if you want to spend the extra money, but I just wanted to show you what's possible depending on where you're watching from. Now, about three years ago, I talked to my local butcher when I was going to buy a traditional brisket, and he said, have you ever tried tri-tip like a brisket. They call it the West Coast brisket. Now, obviously you cook tri-tip traditionally, like Santa Marie style, and you uh, grill it where you get it uh, nice and medium uh, rare or however you like it, and it tastes amazing. And I'll have a video of how I've done a few tri-tips on this channel that way. But today we're gonna be preparing it like a traditional br uh, brisket. And as you heard, we're using post oak uh, with the firewood uh, and the wood chunks. And today we're gonna be using a, a traditional Texas rub. Now, if you don't wanna use a, a seasoning from another company, you can just do the standard SPG, you know, kosher salt, coarse ground pepper and some garlic and that would be just fine or even use some Lowry's as well. And I've done that as well on this channel. Uh, but today I wanna be using Bucky's brisket rub. It's super good. I've used it on different cuts of beef and I've actually eaten at Bucky's in Texas and it's really good as well. So I wanna give this a shot on this tri-tip. So we cut the fat off and all the silver skin off first uh, and then we use duck fat spray as a binder, and then we layered uh, this tri-tip with this seasoning on all sides and all the leftover seasoning that's on the cutting board. We just patted it on all sides to make sure nothing was uncovered. And then I'm gonna let this sit out um, in the air on my kitchen countertop for about 30 to 40 minutes as we got this prepared. So now it's time to bring that tri-tip out on the smoker and let this smoke. And we're gonna take this until about 160, 170, until we get a nice bark on it. Uh, and then we're gonna wrap it in foil and take it traditionally to uh, that 200 and really 205, wherever it's pro tender. And if you've watched the channel, you know we don't go not go by necessarily time, but more about probe tenderness. But that's just kind of a, a, a reference. If you're new to barbecue, that's the number what we're looking at. So I'm gonna bring this out here and we'll get to smoking and show you a few other steps along the way. We are at that 165 to 170 internal temperature. That's at the two hour mark now. And we are double foiling this after we did a little probe testing uh, to see where we were on temperature. Uh, and so now we're gonna be double wrapping this uh, tri-tip and I have some uh, juice in there, some apple juice and some water, plus some um, beef tallow, uh, just to add some extra moisture uh, as this is a leaner cut of beef. And then we are going to let it smoke until it gets the probe tender, checking around that 200 mark. 
All right, friends, we have finished up smoking this tri-tip like a brisket. We let it rest for 45 minutes in double foil. I set the au jus aside in a little container and just in case we need it for a more moisture uh, towards the end of the cook as it typically is a leaner cut of beef. And what we've done is sliced it in the middle. Let me show you what that looks like and look at the smoke ring. Uh, on this tri-tip. It turned out awesome. I love the color, love the texture. I've already done a little taste test and it does taste good. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. Uh, and we cut it down the middle because it has two different, um, you know, uh, grains going different directions. So we're gonna slice it based on going against the grain on each section. And so let me show you all those slices right here. Just the beautiful uh, line of uh, beautiful tri-tip slices looking like a brisket. And I've got one nice and warm, ready to taste right here on camera. So overall, I'm very happy to have this turned out. Uh, got good uh, color, great uh, smoke ring on every slice. And um, the only thing I would add, if, if you want more tenderness, is you can do a little brisket injection. I think that would have helped a little bit. But we could pour a little of that au jus all over this and you'd be all set. So let's do a little taste test. Mm. All right, I'm telling you friends, that Buggy's uh, brisket rub is awesome. And what I've been doing lately on my port butt is putting a little bit more rub at the very end. So I just said, what the heck, I'm putting a little bit extra uh, rub on the end just for that nice uh, little bite at the end. And it just, I don't know, I just feel like it amps up the flavor. It's so good. I would say the only thing that I could have done better is uh, maybe that injection to get it more tender uh, being a leaner meat. But other than that, it tasted really good, just like a brisket. If you've never done this, give it a go. Uh, the traditional way is that Santa Maria uh, where you smoke it like a steak and medium rare and it's delicious. You can't go wrong, but this is another affordable way and have fun and experiment with barbecue, which barbecue is, is what, what it's all about is experimentation and trying new things if you've done it. And I love learning from you. So if you got ideas, put them in the comments, let me know. And friends, if, if videos like this uh, really help your barbecue or you enjoy this community, uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel and check out all the different videos that we do on the channel. And most importantly, I love to learn from you and I love to get ideas on what else to cook on the channel. And if it's something I've never cooked, I'm willing to cook it and even show you my fresh learnings as we do it. So again, I hope this was helpful. This is definitely tasty. I got to feed my family and get off here. Uh, but from my backyard to yours, less hate, more love, good barbecue. Till next time.